Hey, first grade, it's Mrs. Arbini. Happy, happy Monday to you. I hope that you guys are ready to get your phonics on this morning. You ready? Yeah, phonics Monday. We're going to love it. So, you know, Rashid kind of disappeared on me the other day. And he had left us a note that he was just so interested in building that he wanted to explore the world and learn about building things. And while he was gone, he wanted us to work on learning about some vowel teams so that we could help him with this, you know, word building process he wants to go through. And so we did that, right? We worked on that last week. But then I got another envelope from him this morning in the mail. And I opened it up and it was a, a page of pictures. And his note said, Look, I have these pictures. I don't know how to spell these words. I'm wondering if you and the first graders can help me figure out how to spell them using kind of what we know about vowel teams. And I'm like, oh, Rashid, we got this. We can totally do it. So I want to share with you some of his drawings. You ready to see? All right, there's Rashid, and he's off, off on the world. All right, so this is what he sent me. It says, word builders, help me use the right vowel team to build these words. You know, as we've been learning about vowel teams, there's something really, really important that I want to teach you. When you hear a long vowel sound in the middle of a word, you always have to stop and ask yourself, could this be a vowel team? And which one is it? Okay, so we're going to do some of that work today. I'm going to do a little bit of the work with you. And then you're going to do the, some of the work on your own in the classroom and then check back in with me later. Okay. So let's take a look at Rashid's, at Rashid's list of pictures here. Let's go through these. This is, oh, I think this is toast. And this is paint, leaf, feet, sleep, train, chain, and soap. Hmm, so Rashi needs help building all of those words. So we're just going to work on these top two together. And then I'm going to give you some time to work independently, either as a whole group, uh, or I guess not independently, but in your classrooms, either whole group, depending on what your teacher says, or independently, whatever they decide. So let's take a look at this first one. Toast. Let's say that word together. Toast. Do you guys like toast? We like toast in this house. So I'm going to pull up my toolkit. And I'm going to think about that word toast. And I'm also going to think about that rule that if you hear a word with a long vowel sound in the middle, you almost always have to stop and ask yourself, could this be a vowel team? So let's say toast together. T-O-S-T. Okay. Let's, let's really think about that. What's that first sound if we're saying it slowly? T-toast. Yeah, we hear, we hear a letter T at the beginning. Excellent. Let's stretch it out to the next sound. T, O, hmm. Well, that's a long, it's long vowel sound, right? Long vowel sound, so I have to ask myself, could this be a vowel team? I don't know yet, I don't know. So I'm kind of looking at my choices here. T, O, S, T. Well, I hear an O. Just an O isn't a choice. I don't have that to choose from. So do you see a vowel team that might help us? Yeah, O-A. Now we learned the last time that when you're looking at a vowel team, the first vowel says it's long sound and the second vowel is silent. Does that make sense for this word? T-O. Yeah, it does. T-O. I need to put an ending onto this word. What do you think? Look at all these stickies. Toast. ST, is that what you guys hear? That blend? All right, let's crash these parts together. Toast. Toast. All right, so I'm going to go back to my screen. I'm going to get my pen. You guys know that this is not my very best thing, and I actually have a really hard time with this, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Hello, I want this one. What's the problem? To write toast next to it. There's my T. Oh. Somebody said if I hold down shift while I write it might help. Nope, that's just a straight line. A S T. 
All right, so now Rashid knows that that's how we are pretty sure we build the word toast. Now, take a look at this word, or think about this word, paint. Say that slowly, paint. Oops. Let me grab my pointer back. I'm going to put toast back where it goes. This time we're looking at paint. Say it slowly. Paint. Hmm. What do you hear? What do you hear for the beginning sound? P -p it makes, yeah, letter P makes that sound. P A. Ooh. This is tricky. Do you know why this is tricky? What do you hear? You know what I would really like to put here? When I'm just kind of thinking about this word, I want to put an A-Y. But that's not an option, is it? It's not. And I'm going to talk to you about why in just a moment. But do you see a vowel team that would fit in the word paint? Yeah. A-I. Now remember, the first vowel says its name. It's long sound. And the second vowel is silent. P-A. Okay, we've got a good start. p -a -n. What do you hear? There's an N. Ain't. What do you hear at the very end? T. Good. Let's crash these parts together. Paint. Excellent. Now, I bet that some of you were thinking about A Y, like in play or day or say. Because when we say the word paint, boy, doesn't that sound like it would work? Paint A. It will. It, it sounds like it will. But the trick is, A-Y is a tricky vowel team. Because Y isn't really a vowel, is it? But it sometimes acts like one. So A-Y is a vowel team. But it actually almost only shows up at the end of words. Like in play or say or day, that's when you're going to use A-Y. When it's in the middle of a word, when you're hearing that A sound, it's most likely going to be the vowel team, A-I. So we see A-Y at the end of words, which is why I'm just going to get rid of that altogether. We don't need that right now. And if it's in the middle of the word, it would be A-I. Okay. So here's what I'm going to have you do. Let me kind of shuffle my letters back where they go. I have gone into your toolboxes and I have added the additional stickies that you need. I also reorganized some of your toolboxes. So these are all the stickies that you need. Now, it's up to your teacher how to do this. If you're virtual with me, I would like you to do your best <laughs> to just write these words down on a piece of paper um, because I don't know how you're gonna switch back and forth with your slides. I don't think that's going to work very well. Um, so you can just kind of write down what you think these are going to be. If you're in the classroom, you have a choice. You can write down these words on a whiteboard, or your teacher can put this picture or leave this up on the board, and you can go to your toolbox and try to make the words um, independently so that you can compare them back. So either way, however you want to do that, it doesn't matter to me. Um, I'm going to pause the video. I want you to pause the video. However your teacher tells you to make these words, whether it's writing them on a whiteboard or it's using your Jamboard toolbox, I want you to go ahead and take a moment to do that, and then we're going to come back and compare. Okay, welcome back. I kind of gave up on trying to write the words, and so I just grabbed stickies instead. I hope that that's okay with you. So we've already done these first two words together. We've done the word toast and the word paint, but we need to go through these next six words. And I wanna see if your vowel team matches my vowel team. All right, this is the word leaf. I want you to check it. L-E-A-F. What vowel team did I use to make leaf? Yeah, E-A. We hear the E, the A is silent. Good. If you got that right, just give yourself a little check mark. And if you need to fix it, fix it. Our next one is the word feet. Feet. Hmm. Did, what vowel team did you use? Did you use E, E like in the word C? Good. If you did, give yourself a check mark. If not, pause the video and take a moment and fix it. Feet. How about the next one? Sleep. 
Yeah, same thing. E E. When we say sleep, we hear E, so we know the first vowel is going to say its name, and the second vowel is silent. All right. Ooh, this one's a new one. Train. How many of you got that A I vowel team? We hear the A, the I is silent. Train. Good. Are you guys getting these blends and digraphs as well? I know you are. You're so smart. All right, the next one, chain. Same thing. We see that vowel team A-I. Was anyone tempted to spell it A-Y? Be honest. Be honest if you were. It's totally fine. But remember, we use A-Y at the end of words. If it's in the middle of a word, it's more than likely a vowel team. Let's look at the last one. Soap. What vowel team did you use? Yeah. O-A. We hear the O and the A is silent. Guys, I'm so proud of the work you've done today. I hope that you've gone through and made any corrections that you need to make or fix anything that you need to fix because Rashid, if I know him, will be back with another letter on Wednesday and some other task for us to do with vowel teams. Guys, I'm so proud of the work that you're, do that you're doing, that you've done. Hang in there. I will see you on Wednesday. Have a great afternoon.